Hello, good day to you. So today I'm here to demonstrate the use of NMCLI command line utility to manage the to manage networking on Linux operating system. The NMCLI utility is part of the network manager service on the recent uh, versions of the Linux operating system. It is available on uh, versions like CentOS 7 or Fedora 24 and uh, of uh, Ubuntu 16.04 upwards. So right now I am on my terminal. This is the terminal that I'll be using for to demonstrate this uh, so for this demonstration. Uh, specifically, I am on uh, CentOS Linux 7.3. So on this machine, I have to uh, Ethernet interface card. So I have the ETH0 and ETH1. Uh, the first one here is the loopback interface. We are not going to be using that. The one we are going to be using for this demonstration is the ETH1. So if I do IP address show on my ETH1, I don't have any uh, net IP address on my ETH1 right now. And I can, so uh, let me introduce the NMCLI command by doing NMCLI connection show. So right now I have just one connection on my system. The only connection I have is attached to the uh, ETH0. So in the, in the world of NMCLI, when we talk about connection, uh, we can have we can actually have multiple connections attached to one interface, but only one of those connections can be active at a particular time. So think about connection like you have multiple wireless connections can be connected through your laptop, but only one of those or wireless connections can be active at a at a particular time. So, but we don't have anything on my ETH1, so we are going to be we are going to be adding a new connection to the ETH1. So, uh, but before I proceed, why why uh, is it necessary to even know about NMCLI? NMCLI is a, a a very good utility because you can use it on servers that don't have the graphical user interface. You can use it in a script. So if you are writing a script whereby you want to manage the uh, networking, automatically you can use it in a script. You can use it to manage a lot of properties of your network from just this single point. So what do I mean by that? You can use it to manage your IP address, routing, DNS, gateway, and IPv6. So without much ado let's go to the terminal and let's go and create our connection so i type nmcli connection hard hard is the option that i need so one oh, good thing let me back up a little bit one good thing about this command is you can use it with the tab key so if you press the tab key at any point in time it's going to give you suggestions about what you can do at this point if you are not getting these suggestions, I will encourage you to install an utility called Bash Completion. The Bash Completion will help you with auto completion. I already have it installed on my system, so I'm not going to bother. So let's go ahead with our connection creation. After specifying that I'm going to add a new connection, if I want to find out what other Connect, uh, suggestions are available. I press my tab key. Uh, but let me clear my screen so that I can get a clearer space. So, connection hard. One of the options is a uh, connection name. So, the connection name is what name do I want to give to this connection? Uh, let's call it uh, test connection or uh, test con. That's the name I'm giving to it. So next, uh, if I want to know what other uh, options are available 
remember you can press the tab key but i know that one other option is the interface name the interface is a what interface do i want to use for this connection like i said we are going to be using the eth1 so i specified eth1 so next what else can i specify one very important property is the type what type of connection do i want to create so if i press my tab key at this point you can see we have uh, a lot of types uh, ranging from bonding to bridge to ethernet and ethernet actually is a type that we want to use that we want to create in this uh, demonstration i'll uh, clear my screen once again just to give you a clearer view so the type is internet what else can we uh, uh had like i said we can manage a lot of properties of a connection from one single point but one thing you have to keep in mind is this command can actually get uh, pretty long so uh, you, you have to keep that in mind but with the help of the tab key you can get idea of what next you need to add so one thing that we can add right now since we have specified the type that we want to use so is we can specify the ip address that we want to use ipv4 address so you have to take note in some of the older versions of the network manager this may come up as ip4 rather than ipv4 but on my system i have it as ipv4 so please keep that in mind so but uh, what that means is the ip address that we want to use for this interface so i will use 192.168.2.100 i will give it the network mask so you see i specify the address ip address and the network mask in one go what the next thing i can specify is the gateway the gateway that i'm going to be using for this connection is 192.168.2.1 next what can i specify i can specify my dns so ipv4.dns you can use the 8.8.8 oh, for the dns next what can i specify i can specify the method this is actually important so the method is or uh, is it this or uh, is it going to be configured via dhcp or statically so in this example we are using static because we already specified the ip, IP addresses and gateway and dns so we don't need dhcp for this uh, one other thing that we can specify is actually the auto connect so the auto connect here what does this mean it means that do we want these connections to come up immediately like automatically or should it be manual so in this case i'm going to be saying yes to auto connect so i think these are enough properties for now so let's press enter pressing enter you see it says it successfully had the connection so if we run our connection show again now we have a connection named testcon that is active on the et1 interface and it is of type 802.3 ethernet so it also gives us a uuid so uh we we have successfully created uh uh, a connection let's use the ip address command ip address show it's each one uh, okay i need to spell properly ip address show it each one so you see this is the ip address that we gave the broadcast address uh, and the auto configured ip physics address so you see it already configured our interface so next what else can we do with this command like i said we can actually do a lot of things with this command uh let me configure ipv6 on this uh on this interface so i have a 
a fictitious IPv6 address here. So now, since we already created our connection, we are not adding new connection again. What we are doing is we are modifying. We are modifying our connection. So what connection are we modifying? We are modifying the test con connection. And what do we want to modify? We want to modify now the IPv6 address. You see, by pressing the tab key, I got uh, options. So you see, the uh, it, the it gave me a suggestion. So you really don't need to cram or know everything by heart. You only know how to, should know how to use the tab key with this command. So IPv6 address. Uh, I copied an address. So I put the address here. So uh, I'm going to specify the this. So you see. I have added this IPv6 address. So if I run IP address show, which is one now, you see the IPv6 address that I added is not reflecting here. That is because I need to reload the connection. So because I'm I'm, I'm mod, I just modified it, and uh, I can reload the connection. So if I run the IP address show again, okay, it's uh, still not there. I think in that case, I may need to bring down the connection and bring it back up. So in that case, you have to do down. Down means you, we are bringing down this connection. And this is actually a very important point. If you are going to be running this, especially if you're connected to your server via DHCP. You have to make sure that when you bring down, you have to bring the uh, connection mm -hmm. up and you have to run this command on one line with separated by the semicolon. If you don't do this, you're going to lose your SSS connection to your server. So this is a very important point to keep in mind. So I'm going to bring down the connection and bring it back up. So let's look at the interface again. So now you see our IPv6 address shows up as a global IPv6 address on this interface. So this is actually uh, a very good point because especially if you are planning to take the RHCE, the Red Hat Certified Engineer, there might be some questions about managing IPv6 address. So this is a good way to manage IPv6 address with the nmcli command. So one next thing that I want to show you. So let's say we want to add another uh, DNS to our connection. We already have one DNS uh, attached to our connection. We can do nmcli modify. What do we want to modify? want to modify the IPv4 or oh, sorry before that we have to say what connection we want to modify we want to modify the IPv4 DNS so because we are modifying we have to add the plus sign now because we are adding another property you remember we already had one DNS we are adding a new DNS so we don't want to overwrite the existing DNS, so that is why we are using the plus sign. So we we'll use 4.4.2.2. So enter. Uh, so it has uh, accepted that. So let me show you where everything we are doing. Everything we did was written to a particular file. So let's go in, into each Etsy, sysconfig network scripts so if you do an ls so you see there's a new file called a ifcg test con if we look at this file everything that we configured was stored in this file like the dns you see dns1 dns2 was the second one we added the gateway prefix ip address the IPv6 address that we configured on boot 
Yes, that was because we specify the auto connect. The type that was specified, the boot protocol, none that was specified by the static uh, keyword. So quickly, let me show you one more thing that you can do with this command. Let's say we want to create a static route on our uh, on our connection. So let's say we have a route. If it, uh, this is not a real route, this is uh, just for the purpose of this demonstration. So we modify test con. So we say IPv4 mod IPv4 route in this case. So let's say we have a route to a network uh, of 192.168.10.0/24. We we have this route. So we, we we specify the network that we are going to. Next, we specify the the gateway that we are going through. So once ninety two one sixty eight dot two dot one hundred is our IPv address. What we can also specify is the metric, the metric that we are assigning to this route. So we press enter. So okay, uh, I think we we can use the so uh so with the help of the tab key i know that this is actually supposed to be routes not route so uh, let me run that again and modify that to be routes i press enter so uh you see it said uh uh invalid setting that is because we are specifying multiple uh parameters here and we have to put them in a code so keep that in mind you see now uh, we successfully added the route so the route this is actually a static route and if we look at i am still in my etc sysconfig network script if we look at here it has created a file called route test con we can look at this file route test con so it's actually created a route for us so this is uh, actually a very nice thing to have you know if you are creating uh, a static route on your on your operating system and if we need to modify if we need to add another route what we just need to do is to add use the plus sign let's add one more route let's say we are have a route to the 20 network uh, let's change the metric to 10 we had it let's look at the, the file again you see it has created a second route for us so this is a uh, very uh, cool and if you want to learn more about the nmcli command you can use the man pages visit the man pages uh, it has a lot of information for you so if you actually scroll down to the bottom you can see there's another man pages called the nmcli examples so the nmcli examples is another man pages that gives you actual examples of what you can do you can do a lot many more things from this nmcli command for example if i type nmcli and i press my tab key so these are the things i can manage i can manage agent connection devices or general i can get help i can monitor or networking or radio so you, you can uh, manage a lot of things about your networking just from this single or uh, uh, command line utility so um this is uh, all i have to demonstrate to you and i believe you or uh, i hope it has been beneficial to you i hope you have learned one or two things or uh, you can look at the man pages for more examples and more advanced uh, examples uh, this utility can be useful for you in the rhc exam or uh, i took the rhc exam and uh, it is one of the utility that i used to do up to do a lot of the network related uh, tests so thank you for watching bye take care